Nice. Oh, Let me turn this damn light off over here wasting electricity. I gotta stretch all my dollars now. Nowadays until I get back into the shop. And I don't know when I'm gonna get back into the shop. Let's uh let's talk guys. This is about week three and a half of quarantine out here in Tampa, Florida. We're just stretching our dollars. A lot of spam and rice these days. Y'all ever had some spam and rice or spam sandwich? That was the go-to for my mom. Spam rice with some ketchup. So I'm gonna start this video off with the first thing that people have been asking me more than anything. How did you make the Babyliss blade fit on the wall clippers? These are the magic clips and look at that blade. It's a dope looking blade, it's gold. To me it's the equivalent of the, the wall one to three millimeter taper blade. I also do like fade blades. I, I mean, I enjoy wall products. I mean, that's why I'm putting these blades on wall clippers. I, I like wall clippers a lot. I don't like the way that the Babyliss Gold FX's feel on my hand, man. Like, it's just weird to hold on to. Like, with the walls, especially these. I mean, both of them, really, they, ha they have the grooves on the clipper. Those grooves go a long way when you're cutting hair for a while. Like, it's just comfortable. I find it comfortable, at least for me. Well, I mean, hey, I'm talking about me, guys. If y'all wanna, if y'all okay with the Gold FX's, congratulations. Now, there's a lot. That I'm covering on this video so if you're not if you don't have time if you don't have time because I know y'all got things to do there ain't no time we're so busy at home now let's get into the items that we need Now for the people that want to use this black babless blade, keep in mind it comes with this bracket. You don't need the bracket, you can pop it right off after you pop the bracket off, you just run the whole system that I just showed you with the gold blade, you do with this blade, it all will work. Sometimes the sound, I mean the sound's not off right now. These are my go-tos right here. And uh, I love the weight on them. After using it a few times, they need to be oiled, but they sound, sound great, right? They sound great, right? They sound great. They sound great. I think they sound great, right? Huh? Finna drop the fucking bass Now, let's talk Sterlings real quick guys Now with the Sterlings, they originally come with a three hole blade and the reason it's a three hole blade is that it's a safety lock basically the sterlings really they they just sold mainly to like people in salons and stuff people that don't really fade that often but i do like that it has the black cover because honestly besides the three hole blade and the black cover these are the same exact clippers i do enjoy magic clips slash sterling cl clippers the 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 plastic clippers, I enjoy them because they're not, there's times I just wanna hold something lighter. And I do like this little feature right here, this this little thumb, this little area where you press it, your thumb, this is comfortable. And on the uh, seniors, the only groove or the only place you could put anything, it's here and I don't I don't cut hair like that. I don't put my thumb all the way down here. I want, I want my thumb close to the lever. And they want you to put your thumb down here. What, what is this? What's the point of that? Who the hell, like, to go from here to here? Like, I don't want to do that. I'm cool right here. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Man, whoever came up with this damn groove, 
they don't cut hair. But whoever came up with this groove right here, they had to cut hair. Ain't no way. This was brilliant. And it's super, like, this is a little, little cheap old piece too. Matter of fact, let me not take this damn thing off. Usually when you take this off to do some in the inside, by the time you put it back, it never stays. Just keep that in mind, okay? Oops. What the hell? Now guys, this is super, super important. The original wall screws, the silver ones, you need to keep those because the gold screws that come with the Babyliss blades, they will not work. And they probably thought this out. So the cheat code that goes with the cheat code is keep the screws, use the plastic, and you're good to go, boy, girl. As you can see, it doesn't fall off when it has the little plastic piece, and it does if it doesn't have the plastic piece. So, I'm also gonna show you how it sounds if it doesn't have the plastic piece. I'm gonna take it off. Boom, it's like a little mold. Can y'all see that? Hold up, let me do what they do in the little makeup. Uh, that's how it looks when you take it out the blade. Y'all see that? Rakata, a little bracket. So now we're gonna put it without the plastic. It's loose already, y'all see that, right? It doesn't fit snug. Okay, so let's do a sound check real quick. This right here is the clipper that has the blade that doesn't have the plastic. Check that out, mira esto. Oh yeah. Escuchate eso. La escucha. Mira esto. Right here we have the other clipper, guys, that does have the plastic piece. Sound check. Mira esto. Y 
¡Ea diablo! I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done! Okay, so besides the blades that we just installed, I wanted to install something I recently got from Chris Basio at 245. I can't say how it works yet because I just got it. This is after the fact of leaving the barbershop. So I haven't used it in the shop yet. I will let you know how it comes out, how I feel about it once I get back into the shop. The funniest part is that I found this towards the end of me recording this whole segment, but at least I got to use it for one clipper. So whatever guys, whatever. J hits on the B. Huh? <laughs> Now guys, here is where we get into the mat. And the footage that I'm using is old footage. You can clearly tell the difference. So. What'd that say? What does that say? <laughs> 